Fantasy Football Fix with Jeff Pasquino brought to you by Piccalilli Inn on Route 206 in Shemong, home of South Jersey's best wings. He joins us now on the Boardwalk Honda Hotline. Give us a little insight. On week four of the NFL, we'll get your questions for Jeff. Send them in now, 609-403-0973, 609-403-0973. Hunter will be scouring the text board. He will uh, take some of the questions. We'll ask Jeff those questions. We'll get some sleepers. We'll get some waiver wire guys. We'll get guys that should be in your lineup this week. We'll take a look at all uh, some interesting plays at uh, quarterback, running back, wide receiver with Jeff Pasquino from the footballguys.com. And he joins us now here on the Sports Bash. Week four is here. Jeff, welcome back, man. How are you? Doing all right. We got our first unscheduled bye week. Yes, we do. Uh, don't forget Pittsburgh and Tennessee are not playing the game. So get your Steelers and your Titans out of your lineup. That game has been scrapped for this week. Uh, but we do have a game tonight. It doesn't appear to be a very sexy game with Denver and the Jets. But are there players that you like tonight that should be active in your fantasy lineup? There's a couple. And I would say that we're going to see one of these teams finally get a win. But if it the Eagles just did last week, maybe not so much. But a couple of players like this week. Denver, we got Melvin Gordon as a running back, too. I think uh, the rookie Judy at wide receiver is a wide receiver three plus flex. And Noah Font is a viable tight end. For the Jets, I think you got Frank Gore as a flex, again, with two, you know, two teams off. Jameson Crowder, if he plays, is a flex in PPR. And both defenses are in play because this should be a low-scoring, kind of boring game. All right, that's tonight. Make sure you get your Broncos in. Make sure you get your Jets in or get them out if you don't like them tonight. And, of course, uh, get your questions in for Jeff. Keep them coming in. 609 403 O nine seven three. Send us a text with your questions for Jeff. We'll get to those in a minute. Let's look at a couple quarterbacks this week, and I want to go uh, right over to how about Joe Burrow had a nice game last week. T. Higgins, a uh, couple scores there for Burrow. He's got the Jacksonville defense. Is this going to be another big day for the number one overall pick? Yeah, I think he's a borderline startable uh, quarterback this week, especially if you've got a couple guys that are off this week all of a sudden. But Joe Burrow is in our top ten. Jacksonville's a pretty decent matchup. And he also had some uh, running game to him. So I like Burrow as a top 10 guy this week. All right. Uh, what about Cousins? This is a team that uh, obviously gives up a lot of points. Cousins has been a very good, dependable fantasy guy in the past, but are you losing some faith? I am, and I think this is a, this is a get-right game for Houston. Houston is 0-3, but they had a horrible schedule with Kansas City, Baltimore, and Pittsburgh as their first three games. So Houston's probably going to get their first win this week against Minnesota, which could lead to some throwing, but I think that In an ideal world, Minnesota runs the ball 40 times, and you're not going to see much from Cousins. All right, speaking of running the ball, Cam Newton didn't run one in last week, so if he doesn't run one in, he's got Kansas City this week. Uh, He was a a dud last week. What do you think about for an encore from Cam Newton this week? I think he's going to – they're going to game plan. Belichick is going to try to emphasize the ability that's a little bit different, Uh, run between the tackles, move the ball. And I think that Cam Newton, because that running ability, again, edges him – just to into the top ten. Drew Brees, uh, always been a big-time fantasy guy. What about now? We need Michael Thomas back. That's really the bottom line. But Alvin Kamara is going to be the guy uh, for that offense. If he catches a pass from Drew Brees and goes a long distance, then that's great. But Emmanuel Sanders finally found the end zone. Drew Brees needs a little bit of a get-right game yet. It's not quite this week. Right, we have him as a quarterback, too. All right. Uh, guess who's back in the immortal words of Eminem? Nick Foles is back, baby. Should he be in your fantasy lineup, though? The 3-0 Bears, again, a team that's kind of uh, the record is a little bit better than their opponents with Detroit, the Giants, and the Falcons. So Nick Foles, it was kind of a rescue effort, and he did really well against a, a fading Falcons defense. But they get a tougher matchup against the Colts. That's one of the better defenses and underrated defenses this year. Nick Foles is barely even a quarterback, too, this week. Uh, last one on the quarterbacks here. We'll move over to the running backs. Don't forget, get your questions in for Jeff, 609. 609- 403-0973. Hunter is uh, compiling those questions there. I see many of them coming in. Get yours in, and we'll ask it on the air. Uh, Falcons aren't very good, but Matt Ryan's got to play, right? Yeah, he's definitely been throwing that with a bad defense. Got to score some points. That's kind of what's happening with Dak Prescott, and it's also happened with Matt Ryan. And that's how they're moving the ball the most. Green Bay is going to be a good defense, um, but you're looking at a higher scoring game. Matt Ryan should put up Pretty, pretty good numbers and be right at that back one line for you this week. 
All right, uh, let's go over to the running back position, which uh, is interesting this week. Got a couple of uh, injuries out there. Uh, but let's go with James Robinson. He's taking on the Bengals. We saw what he did on Thursday Night Football last week. Yeah, they're really using him a lot. They give him the ball about 20 times a week, and that's pretty much all you can ask for for a feature back. He's not quite running back one status, but he's definitely startable at the high-end running back two. All right, uh, what about, uh, you know, this week you got um... – Excuse me, uh, uh, Carlos Hyde. There we go. That's the name I was looking for. Carlos Hyde seems to be the guy out there now, uh, at least for a couple of weeks here. He's got Miami uh, on the schedule. Yeah, he was one of the guys I was going to add on our pickup list, and he might have been picked up already. But if you don't have him, Trap Homer is now the number two in Seattle. There's a sleeper name to grab. But I think Carlos Hyde, he's a good all-round back. He's done the feature work before. He's a good fill-in, and I think it's a good matchup for him to be a solid fantasy performer as a running back too this week uh what about uh adrian peterson a little rebirth down there they got a win last week he had a nice game and they're going up against the saints the saints defense is pretty good in the interior um uh, and they've got three running backs in detroit uh i if i'm gonna pick anything from the detroit with the galladay back in the mix i'm gonna go with the passing game over the run adrian peterson is more of a flex running back three all right uh also you got uh joe mixon for the Bengals going up against a, poor, a pretty poor jacksonville team yeah, they they give him the ball a lot. So that's again what you can ask for. So he's right next to James Robinson on our projections, a high end running back too. All right, uh, a couple more running backs here with Jeff Pasquino from the Football Guys dot com, and you know because of a lot of the injuries, you got a lot of guys coming in and out and moving around. Jonathan Taylor might be a guy. Uh, he did not start the season as the starter, but where are you putting him now? He is he's their workhorse and, and they're, they're looking to control the ball. They they should have a lead in that game at home against the Bears. Um, he's going to get the ball twenty times and they they are emphasizing him in the run game and he also catches the ball in the backfield too. He's a top twelve guy this week. All right, uh, a couple more here before we move to the uh, wide receivers. I know um, that uh, Gaskins was the guy that you were ca- kind of telling people last week to go on. Is he now the guy in Miami? I think so. Like we saw last Thursday night, that they gave the ball a lot, and they and he, he gets catches the ball on, on short passes, and he also runs the ball both inside and out. I like him as a running back two this week, even against a tough Seattle defense. All right, Jeff Pasquino, FootballGuys.com. We'll shift over to wide receivers here. Last chance for you to get some questions in for Jeff six zero nine four zero three. 0973. Text your fantasy football questions in for week number four, which starts tonight. And don't forget, get your Titans and your Steelers out of the lineup. They are not playing that game this week. All right, let's go over to the wide receivers here. I'm going to start off with uh, Terry McLaurin going up against Baltimore. He's their main guy there, but uh, do you want to play him against Baltimore? I think so. I think that, that they're going to, he's going to be catching a lot of passes. I think they, they went to they, they trying to establish, I think Dontrell Inman is their wide receiver too because they've had some issues at tight end. But I think uh, they want to move the ball with McLaurin. He's going to see a high volume of targets, probably eight to ten targets. And that's all you can really ask for as a wide receiver. He's going to be a wide receiver this week. All right, what about the Dallas wideouts? I mean, last week you saw Gallup um, and uh, who was the other guy who had a couple of touchdowns? D.B. Lamb. Uh, you, but but uh, Lamb didn't even – who was the guy who had the pair of touchdowns for them? But you got Lamb and Cooper getting outshined by Gallup in the, in the fourth guy. Now, I can't even think of the guy's name. Um, uh, I'm drawing a blank on him too. I'm trying to check my list here. <laughs> he yeah. caught me off guard. Yeah, there was um, a, who scored two touchdowns for the Cowboys last week. The the receiver down there. Man, I'll think of it. All right, all right. I'll I'll think of it too. But uh, as far as with Dallas, I think you got to go with Gallup. I think you got to go with C.D. Lamb. Uh, the guy we're thinking of is Cedric Wilson. Cedric Wilson. And he, he had, caught, he had yeah. five for 107 so, and two touchdowns last week. Yeah, that is your that is your fool's gold pick of this week. That is not going to happen again. So I think you got Cooper, Gallup, and Lamb. Those are your three guys. They were they were in catch up mode last week against Seattle, and that's pretty much the, the, the defense for Dallas is decimated. They're the best team in the NFC East, which is not saying much because they could win the division with five or six wins. Uh, but I think Gallup, Lamb, and Cooper are the three wide receivers you got to stick to. How about Judy with Denver in that quarterback situation? Yeah, I think that he's he's your number one guy this right now because Denver's pinged up at wide receiver. Um, he's playing tonight, so if you're going to get him in, get him in there. Um, uh, Cortland Sutton should be the number one when he's healthy, but now he's on IR. We don't even know if he's going to be designated for return yet. 
Duty's your guy. And if you're playing guys Thursday night, always put them in the regular spots, not the flex, to give you more flexibility later in the week. What are you doing with Greg Ward has the most targets for the Eagles? Oh, boy. Um, well, if you know my receivers, he's probably going to get some work, so he's worth grabbing. But he's kind of in the just-a-guy category, and he's not going to be worth much when, if and when the Eagles start to get healthier. Yeah, he gets those catches, but not a lot of yards. Uh, Brandon Ayuk had a big game last week. Yeah, he was on my sleeper list. For the, right, He's in the wide receiver three category with some upside. Um, but San Francisco is not going to have to run, throw the ball a lot um, against the Eagles. I think they're going to run the ball a lot like they did against the Giants last week. All right. Uh, we'll get to uh, your questions in just a second. 609-403-0973. Uh, what is the uh, Kansas City? How do you play those wide receivers out there? It seems like somebody has a big game every week. Hardman, uh, obviously Hill. Uh, you got uh, Watkins out there. Yeah, I think the only one that's – the two that are guaranteed are Hill and Kelsey. Those are the two guys that get most of the work. Uh, Hardman is stretching the defense. If you think that the, the – you have to look at the defense they're going to play. If they get a lot of pressure and a lot of sex, Hardman is not going to be your guy because he can't get open deep, and that's where you go looking in another direction if you're looking for a wide receiver, too, in Kansas City. All right, Jeff Pasquino for thefootballguys.com. we got questions coming in from our listeners, as always, 609 403 0973. We'll try to squeeze in as many as we can here for Jeff and then stick around. He's got some sleepers and waivers and other plays that he likes this week. All right, what do we got? All right, Jared Goff or Matt Ryan? Uh, they're right next to each other in our projections, but I got to lean to Matt Ryan because they're going to be trailing and the, the Rams should be able to take care of the Giants. So always go with the team that needs to throw. That's Matt Ryan. All right, how about Jared Goff or Drew Brees? Hmm. Uh, again, well, I lean. Jared Goff probably because the offense is geared towards throwing the ball more, even though that they're going to dominate the Giants. Um, Drew Brees can hand the ball off a lot, and not he hasn't been productive right now. In the tight end slot, Mark Andrews or Mo Alley Cox? Uh, Mark Andrews is more consistent, and he is a top top seven tight end every week. One wide receiver: Ayuk, Terry McLaurin, or T. Higgins. I would go with uh, McLaurin. No question, he's going to get eight to ten targets. Uh, need two at running back. James Robinson, Miles Sanders, Josh Jacobs. Those are good choices. I would go with Josh Jacobs for certain. Uh, I would go with Miles Sanders, assuming he's 100% healthy. Um, I, I like Robinson. As well. All three of those guys are good, so that's a good problem to have. Melvin Gordon or Edelman in the flex? Melvin Gordon. I think Denver's going to run the ball a lot. It's the Jets. That's a good matchup. And he's probably going to be number one performer tonight. Deshaun Watson or Matt Ryan? Uh, I think you're going to go with Deshaun Watson. This is a get-right game for Houston, and I like that matchup for him. All right, uh, Jeff Pasquino for thefootballguys.com. Before we let you roll tonight, you always give us some sleepers, waiver wires, under-the-radar guys, guys that you're putting in your lineups this week. Well, one we didn't mention was Mike Davis for Carolina. It's a good matchup for him. He's going to get a lot of volume. Get him in your lineup. Uh, Daryl Henderson as well for the Rams. He's really emerging. I didn't think it would happen, but he's a solid running back, too. And, again, it's a good match with the Giants. Running back flexes that are great pickups and potential plays this week. Jack Wilson for San Francisco. Devonta Freeman is going to get more work for the Giants. Joshua Kelly for the Chargers. And also, I mentioned Travis Homer earlier. Wide receiver, Robbie Anderson, if he's still out there for Carolina, he's getting overlooked. Grab him. Tyler Boyd for the Bengals. Will Fuller for Houston is going to look good. Nikhil Harry for the Patriots. Alan Lazard should be getting more work, even though Devontae Adams should be back this week. And then lastly, the, the, the team that's really banged up at wide receiver, aside from the Eagles, is Las Vegas. So Hunter Renfro is a good pickup this week and is a solid wide receiver three. All right, Jeff Pasquino for thefootballguys.com is back with week four fantasy plays. There you go. Make sure you get your guys in the lineup and obviously get those Steelers and get those Titans out. They are not playing that game this week. They're going to move it to later on in the year. Uh, so get those guys out. There's some big players that you're missing this week with the Titans and the Steelers there. Uh, and Jeff Pasquino, like all guests, appeared via the Boardwalk Honda Hotline. Jeff, good luck to you. Good luck to everybody. Enjoy the games. There he goes. He's back again next week with a Week 5 edition of the Fantasy Fix, and that is brought to you by our friends over at the Piccalilli Inn. Be sure to call the pick for your game day favorites like their award-winning wings, ears, and tails. Check them out online at piccalilli.com. There you go.